Hey y'all, welcome to the Clock Tower. I'm Colton, here with Brandon. We're playing with the Saber deck that I profiled on the channel on Tuesday. It's the one with the three combos. It uses the Elia at level one, and then the level two and level three Sabers to try to decompress and then hit cancel burns. It's kind of wonky, and honestly not that good, but it's fun, and it's something you can do with the new Heaven's Feel 2 stuff. Brandon. What are you running? I'm running Card Capture Sakura. Um, I'm running the Karo Changer into the 2 1, and then the Shower on Top End, a deck I previewed or did a deck on earlier this year. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a solitaire deck, realistically trying to do its own thing. Not super worried about you, ideally trying to get a reverse here and there. Realistically, kind of similar vein. The top end is really just kind of just uh, spam burns. So I just thought it would be a good deck to help showcase yours. I think that makes sense. We're going to grab a second copy of the Ilya. Four, two. Yep. Yeah, in my first deck, the most important thing is deck speed. I feel like I can get the back row Shiro with the level one Elia. Fair. Not the combo, but the, the off one. So it's more important to me that I get through my deck as quickly as possible. For one. That's just an oversize, right? Yeah, it's a 4K right now. One's good. Draw. As you do. As you do, you know. Um, gonna drop this. Mm, yep. And on play, I'm gonna go and get the Ilya first. And then I'll reveal. I can add it to hand and drop something else. Yeah, I just won't hold the Ilya, unfortunately, as much as I would like to. I'll drop this Ilya. Mm -hmm. And I will pitch the drop search top check four. And I'll grab this. I like that. I like seeing that. For two. Yep. And then for two. Uh, still yes. Um, red. Send all the waiting room. Stand. Draw. Yeah, I wouldn't have tried to push you to one if you were running standby, but because Card Captor does not have standby, and realistically you're only going to get super big in one lane if you get your whole board together, which with one stock I don't think you can. Uh, not like this. Um... Like, it's possible. Like, it, it's possible that you could just have everything in your hand that you need, but I don't think you do. I am one card short. You just clocked Climax at level one. That always feels good. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, hit one, two. Um, salvage a character. Hmm. I'm going to salvage this one. Yeah, you lean a lot more into the blue stuff so that you can play the Yuna. Yeah, I do. Well, I'm going to play the Yuna anyway, regardless if I've had blue. Like, it's just more of an alarm that I can mess around with. Mm -hmm. Um, Fronting here. Okay. For two. Two's good. 
and then fronting here for three. Three's good. All right, draw. Not that one. Let me well, clock that. I mean, two. the bar is not necessarily super helpful at the moment, so. Fair enough. It was more of a necessary evil at that point. On play, pitch one. Mm hmm. I milled a zero. But that is fine because there are good zeros. Most notably, the Ilya, which I'll get into hand. Um, I do have to put the... I don't mill it, actually. I don't know why I said I mill it. I don't yeah, mill it. It's, it's, it stays on top, but... But that's fine. Oof, that's tough. I did the math. This will hit 90% of the time in this deck, even with like the less than fantastic math or the less than fantastic, you know, master ratios. Okay. But that's tough. Not getting any of anything yeah, else. That's kind of tough. It's okay. On attack, look it up to four. Not you. Blood the keys bow. Okay. Swing will be for three. Cancel on three. For four. Yep. And then for two. Yep. No. The oversize. Okay. So, um, level two. It's fun. Um, the worst part here, I am paying one to Encore. Draw one. Clock. One, two. Okay. That one. One and a half. Eats that. Cool. Okay. So then I will put that one there. I will enter now the beginning of climax phase. My alarm will trigger. Uh, so I can draw up to two cards. And then ditch two cards. I can then... Do the change effect, pay one, bounce to hand, one, and two to get that one in its spot. Climax, stock a red card. Which is Tomoyo. Okay, Climax is placed. This one gives itself a thousand power. Beginning Climax phase, that one gets 500 power, and then power to that one. So I should be 500 over in the middle. I should be power tied with the zero here. And then the two one should be bigger. Because that should be nine five. I'm not sure where this gets to. No, three, sorry, five. ten. Because the two five base and then gets one K from the back row. From oh Oh I yeah, see. One okay. K from the back row from the Okay. From that. Yep, I see it. Okay. Yeah. Technically this is a thousand over, but same difference. Um, either way, 
we're going into attack phase. So then I frontal attack here for two. Two's good. Perfect. Um, draw one, salvage one. Cool. Uh, frontal here in the middle for two. Two's good. I don't remember you triggering. It's probably in hand, but I'm still going to side here anyway for one. One's good. And then I'm going to encore this. Okay. Draw. I guess we'll get our combo. Yeah, might as well. It's going to give it to you anyway. Right. Nine five, you said here? Yes. And then uh, I suppose we'll just go from there. Sure. On attack, pay one. Pitch one. Um, I assume the bar? The level three, yeah. And we'll move that to memory. This gains a thousand, so it's up to ten. And the swing is for two. Two. Yep. For three and a gate or pants. I'll get the pants in the hand. Okay, that's convenient. Okay. Um Yeah, okay. Then reverse the waiting room. Brainstorm. Hit one. Salvage one. A one At this point realistically I'm hitting three next turn so I kind of need stock draw one ditch one draw one Ditch one. Okay. Um, beginning climax phase, draw two, ditch two. Um, with that in mind. We'll go into attack phase. Okay. 
I'm a little surprised that you're not trying to remove the 2-1. More of, I wanted to try to guarantee the reverse. Fair enough. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, for two. It was kind of going along the line of if I can get the combo off. Sure. Then I would do it. Like, realistically, had I been able to draw into the climax, I would have done the change effect to get right. this one in the middle here. Right. Ready to go. Fair enough. Um, Cancel on one. Um, power tie here in the middle. Four or five. Okay. For one. Um, I'm at five five. You were at five five. Well, then, just kidding. Okay. Uh, just crash. For one. One's good. For two. Two's good. Okay, we can work with this. We can work with this. Draw. I don't want a clock. Well, then don't. But I should. Because I need cards in hand. So we're clocking. To draw two. Yeah, that was the right decision. How big is this? 8-5? Um, yeah, 8-5. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to trade some of this stock for cards. Yeah, like you're going to need that. Except you don't. So you want to know what's even crazier is the odds of me hitting this are about 95%. Because like the reason I don't play a Brainstormer is because of the high whiff chance. You're talking to the guy that built a deck with only one level zero. <laughs> I don't know what... Yeah, I remember that thing. But strange times. Strange times. If you're at this part in the video and you want to see that, let me know in the comments. It, that, that, that's a deck that did in fact exist. Um at one point in time it's the, it's only going to see the light of day if people comment in the video here. okay so we're going to do something that potentially is really stupid i don't think i'm going to be able to get my end game together but i don't think i can so we're just going to do this again okay and we're just going to go all in on just the fact that you're going to be so decompressed that hopefully vanilla swings will beat you that's the game plan at this point you do realize I only have two climaxes in waiting room, right? Yep. And that's fine. I don't care. Like, I mean, we could get another one. We we can you will you can't refresh better than six at this point. So um I'm gonna swing in the open lanes so that if I trigger, I can pay it out. Well look at that. For one, two, three. Mm hmm And the choice. The choice just made this way more interesting. I'm going to get the Musashi to hand. Yep. Good call. Good call. And then I'm going to swing here and pay this out. Yep. Pay one, pitch one to do the combo effect. Uh, I assume the bar? It would be... I, I, I want the, the bar three. again, yeah. yeah. And then the swing is going to be for three. Cancel on one. And then for one, two, three, four. Insulin too. Yeah, I assumed a lot of that was going to cancel. Honestly, that's that's fine. Hmm. One of the things I didn't really talk about in the deck tech was just how modular this top end is. Like you can, depending on game state, depending on resources, change what you're going to do. Like, as much as we want to get the full board with the combo and everything down, if we can't or we don't think we can, there are other ways to generate advantage with those cards in hand. You can still run Musashis. You can still look for Musashis intentionally. Um, you, know, you can still load something up with Soul. You can, you know, you don't need to get all three of those specific cards down to get the combo to work. Or you can just, quote unquote, loop this. Hitting the choice definitely made me feel a little bit stupid for that. But at the same time, I don't know. We'll find out. I appreciate that you didn't level yourself. 
Yeah, I I know. I I kind I kind of dared you to level yourself. <laughs> you really did, and I wasn't really ready to take that dare. But I'm also not a hundred percent ready to just. What you you didn't want to refresh five out of thirty one, Brandon? That didn't sound like a good time. Uh, no, no, it didn't. Um, five out of twenty five still doesn't sound great, but. It's going to be what it's going to be. The problem is at this point is me trying to figure out how I'm going to do some stock things here. Because I really need to, you're empty, so I need to get, I need to hit you for the damage you're going to deal. I need really need to stick you for four here, at least. Yeah, no, I, I need to close. Like next turn, I need to close. I need to plan on closing. The problem. Because you're going to, you're going to push me to three, four. Yeah, no, I am. That's just that's just gonna happen. Um, but if I wanted to get you know potentially stupid aggressive, and especially because if you if you you know if you start crashing things, like the potential for me getting this combo together is still there. Yeah, it is. Um, I am gonna do the bond, I think, and salvage the hospitable. So then turn around and play it. I think if I do that, puts me pretty close. Ideally, I still want to get that back to hand. But I think this is the way to go. I'm going to front at 9-5. Okay. Four. Two's good. Uh, front here, 3-5 for two. Two's good. And then crash. All right. We're going to draw. We're obviously not going to clock. We'll play down the one that heals. just to get us out of this really bad deck situation. We'll do this and see what we get, which is you. But more importantly, we get you. Or we have you, mm -hmm. and we have the, stock the to Climax get the... here. Yep. So we can at least stuff the Climax under here. Mm-hmm. And I can pay one to move it to where it needs to be. Yeah. So. Okay. After all that, I will get my combo. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get the Excalibur into uh, into waiting room. Honestly, like if this card didn't exist, this deck couldn't be built the way that it is. Yeah. You would need to run m more of those uh, green lancers, which honestly doesn't feel great. Like as much as it's a search for the climax, like it, it's this deck is just made up of a bunch of very weird loose pieces. We're gonna do the thing. We're gonna pay the one. Mm -hmm. Let's slide this into the climax area, and then I believe we can just go from there. So. We'll swing here, give the soul here. Mm -hmm. Swing will be for one, two, three. And the, one of the things that's also great about that two one combo is that it it makes even these swings much more dangerous. Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to burn for three here. We're gonna side here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Ah, okay, for one and a choice. That's what I was trying to avoid. That's why I actually went for the hospitable there. Because it's level zero on field, <laughs> so that way you couldn't side into it for precise damage. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna swing here for one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, for six. Five. Let's just eat six. You know what? That's a thing that can happen too. Another, again, the two one combo. The two one like. Losing a climax out of your final deck is such a handicap. 
I have five climaxes in deck still, Colton. I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. And you did just eat, I think. How much did you just eat? Is that all of it? Eleven? Yeah. No, more. No, it was three. It no, was it was at three zero. So it was It was yeah. Yeah. Three one six. So yeah, you just ate ten. Yeah, just ten. Off the top, which isn't great. Eleven would have been clean anyway, too. Now imagine now imagine trying to stick that. When you would, if you were seven out of twenty-five instead of five, it's still crazy lucky. There's no getting around it. It's still insanely lucky. The deck did what it's supposed to do, even if we didn't like get the like. I had the Musashi in hand. That's wild. So like, the deck, as much as it runs very thin margins in terms of its cards, it has enough weird tech to get you what you need, and also like. Like I said, it, it's modular enough that you can make some decisions about what you want to do. Like you can you can choose to sacrifice certain parts of your end game to go for something else, to you know kind of go all in on you know a different part of it. You can, um, like you you can play into the Musashi's more if you don't have it. You know you could try to get multiple damage, multiple you know lanes that have at least some kind of cancel burn. So, Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, no, absolutely. And 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 this is also like you can even if you don't have your combo, like just go get a climax. You know, like there there's enough that you can do this deck responds at the top end. This is something I didn't put enough emphasis on in the video. I don't think this deck can respond to game states better than it feels like it can. It feels like the kind of thing that's very rote. You have to do one very specific thing. But when you actually get into it, once you get into level two, you're making decisions. A lot of risk reward, you know. And, you know, as much as it completely loses to standby nine times out of ten, if you're not playing into standby, it can it can play a little bit. It can play around and it can, you know, it can work with different parts of its top end to, you know, do some fun things. I don't think the level three game works unless climaxes are removed. This deck needs to decompress. It, it's like the Megamine stuff. It feels and plays a lot like the old Megamine burn fives. Like that's what this feels like. Or you know that Megamine combo that burned four. If you could Fumio with the Aqua, you opened up your opponent's deck and you were able to really do some damage and potentially win the game with that explosive burn combo. This. Same kind of thing, except the Fumio is worse because it's on a climax combo. But in some ways it's better because it just pulls a climax out of the game. Yeah. Make of it what you will. The deck is weird, but it's really fun. And if you've got Fate stuff, or if you're just a Saber fan, like I am, then running this is cool. So I hope you liked that. I had fun. We will be back on Tuesday with a Clock Talk. And then on Thursday, we will have five cards, five minutes for what's our next set, Brandon? Alicization. Okay, so we'll be doing rares and double rares for Alicization a week from today. Brandon will have a deck tech a week from Tuesday, and then two weeks from now, we'll have gameplay for that as well. Also, be on the lookout. Um, We're going to be on Darcy's channel. He was kind enough to reach out to us and record a podcast episode with us, so be on the lookout for that. In the meantime... Thank you for joining us. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. We'll see you then.